Text of two graphs. So if we have got two, uh, two equations of graph, we can find the point of intersection. We've already done this in straight lines in National 5 and quadratics and straight lines in the quadratics previously in this video. But two graphs can have several points of intersection, one point of intersection or none. So here's a couple of examples. Let's say we had this big random graph and we had a, a straight line going through it. You see it's cutting at one, two, three, and four places. Or we could have this quadratic graph and it's just a tangent touching at one point. Or we could have this sort of graph here where the line, this is just the x-axis, is not touching at all. So here's an example of finding points of intersection. Find the coordinates of the points where the curve y equals x cubed minus x squared intersects with the line y equals 5x plus 3. So if we find the intersection of two graphs or two equations, it's always simultaneous equations. So it's simultaneous equations. So since it's both y equals y equals, we can immediately just say that x cubed minus x squared equals 5x plus 3 to the point of intersection or points. So that is a cubic, so we need to make it equal to 0, anything above a squared. So that's minus 5x minus 3 equals 0. So we've got a cubic to solve, so we need to find the factor. Find the factors, we'll try 1, try minus 1, 2, minus 2, and so on. So when x equals 1, we get 1 cubed minus 1 squared minus 5 times 1 minus 3. If you do that sum, you get minus 8. So 1's not a root. If you try minus 1 bowl, you get minus 1 cubed. Take away minus 1 squared. Take away 5 times minus 1. Take away 3. That's minus 1. Minus 1 again. Plus 5. Minus 3. Well, minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. Minus 3 is minus 5. So that's 0. So since we've done that, so we know the remainder is equal to 0. And therefore, x equal to minus 1 is a root. And therefore, x plus 1 is a factor. So now we can do our synthetic division as normal. Minus 1 was the root. And then we've got 1x cubed, 1 minus 1x squared, minus 5 minus 3. Drop the 1 down. Then 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. Take away gives you minus 2. Times gives you 2. Take away gives you minus 3. Times gives you 3 and you get 0. And therefore we've got our x plus 1 times x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. x plus 1 or, not, or, or there'll be no solutions. b squared minus 4ac be negative would tell you that. x and x, we've got 3 and 1. Minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. So x equals minus 1 or x equals minus 1 or x equals 3. We've got a repeated root, which means the turning point is on as one of the roots. And now we just need to find the points. So remember y is equal to x cubed minus x squared or 5x plus 3. Use one of, the, one of those equations. So I'll just use y equals 5x plus 3. So when x equals minus 1, y equals minus 5 plus 3. Minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2. So our point is minus 1 minus 2. There's our first answer. And the second one, when x is equal to 3, y equals 5 3 is 15 plus 3, which is 18. So our next point is 3 and 18. And there's our second point of intersection.